This screencast will demonstrate how to translate a comprehensive Medline search into Cochrane. When doing a systematic literature search, the search is typically constructed in Medline first and then adapted for use in a range of other databases. Corresponding subject headings will need to be located, text word codes are often different, and depending on the question and the database being searched, certain concepts in the question might have to be either removed or added. This is also known as translating a search. Let's see what this looks like using Cochrane as an example. To start, I have my Medline search open here on the left. This search is not comprehensive, but it's meant to be a very brief sample of some of the elements that would be included in a comprehensive search and that would need to be translated. To translate your Medline search into Cochrane, you'll need to use the Search Manager tab here. The subject headings we use in Medline, also known as MeSH, are also used by Cochrane. This makes translation much easier because the subject headings themselves will be exactly the same. However, when translating from Medline, unfortunately it isn't as simple as copying and pasting what you've built in Medline into Cochrane. This is because Cochrane and Medline don't speak the same language. This language is what we call syntax. For example, a search for the MeSH term nursing homes in Medline would look like it does here in our first line of search on the left. In Medline, we know that the letters EXP mean that the MeSH term has been exploded, and the slash means that it is a MeSH term. If we enter this line exactly as it is into Cochrane and search, we get an error because Cochrane doesn't understand that the syntax EXP and slash correspond with explode and MeSH term. This is why we need to translate the search. For Cochrane to understand our first MeSH, mesh search line here, we need to enter it like this. The same way that the slash tells Medline that you're searching a MeSH term, the use of square brackets and the letters MH tells Cochrane that you're searching a MeSH term. The quotation marks are required here when you're searching a MeSH term that includes more than one word so that the database knows to search for nursing homes as a subject heading instead of nursing as a subject heading and homes as a subject heading. If we were just searching for the subject heading nursing, we wouldn't need the quotation marks. Cochrane explodes your term automatically, which is the opposite of Medline, where you need to choose to explode. So in Cochrane, for this search line, we won't need to include any additional letters or characters unless we wanted to tell Cochrane not to explode. Our second Medline search line over here on the left, Homes for the Aged, is not exploded, which we know because the letters EXP are not added before the MeSH term like in our first line. To translate this line into Cochrane and tell the database that you do not want to explode the term, it would be entered like this. The upward pointing arrow added to your search line just after MH tells Cochrane not to explode this term. Our next search line over here on the left is a text word search, which includes some language that Cochrane will not understand and that we'll need to translate. Let's start by copying and pasting line number three from our Medline search into the Cochrane search manager. The first thing that we'll need to change is the adjacency operator here in the middle. Medline uses the letters ADJ followed by a number but Cochrane uses the word near, followed by a slash, and then the number. One of the great things about the Cochrane Search Manager is that you can edit all of your search lines as you go along. So we can just delete the Medline Adjacency Operator and add the Cochrane one in its place. The next thing that we need to translate in this search line are the search field codes here at the end. These field codes tell the database where to search. In Medline, we use dot, tw, comma, kf to tell the database to search in the title, abstract, and the keyword heading word. Cochrane uses slightly different codes and slightly different punctuation. Cochrane will use colon, ti, comma, ab, comma, kw. Clicking go or hitting enter will run this search line. 
Now we can follow the same steps to translate the animal therapy of concept in our search. So for line four, we'll copy and paste. And for line five, we'll copy and paste again. Change the adjacency operator and the search field codes. The next step is to combine all of our search lines. We don't need to copy and paste from our Medline search strategy for this step. We can combine the translated lines directly in the Cochrane Search Manager. The first step is always to combine the synonyms for each concept with OR. To combine the lines about nursing homes, which are lines 1, 2, and 3, we can enter the following. Another way to combine the lines is to enter it this way. As you can see, both methods retrieve exactly the same number of results. Now let's do the same with our animal therapy concept. You'll notice that some of our search lines are starting to disappear. So if you want to be able to view all of the lines, just click here on view all lines and the box will expand. Finally, uh, we'll combine the lines for each concept using and. This can be done with one of two strategies used above for combining with or. We'll just replace the or with and. So we'll do number seven and number eight. One useful feature offered by Cochrane is the Highlight Orphan Lines feature down here at the bottom. This is particularly useful if you're translating long searches because it will show you any lines that you've entered into the search manager that have not been combined with OR or AND to contribute to the final set of search results. We can see here in our search that lines number six and number nine are orphaned because the boxes are highlighted in red and we can also see here at the bottom that Cochrane tells us rows six and nine are orphaned. Number nine is the line that displays our final search result, and it won't be combined with anything else, meaning it will always appear as an orphan line, which is fine. But line six hasn't been combined anywhere. It's important to go back through your search and determine where, if anywhere, orphan lines belong, or if they're just there by mistake and need to be deleted. In this case, line six is a duplicate of line seven, where we combined our nursing home concepts with OR in two different ways. So it can just be deleted by clicking on the minus sign. A small warning will come up just to let you know that your lines will be renumbered for you based on what you're deleting. Now we have a fully translated Medline search. To view the results of the search, we can click here on the box to the right of our final search line. From here, you can filter the results on the left side of the page if you choose. If you have any questions about Cochrane, please feel free to email us at ask.gerstein at utoronto.ca.